Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here! Welcome to Sorry Atari, and this week we're gonna play Firefly. Generally, I like to be a contrarian. I like to be the guy who says, this isn't so bad. And even, even with Star Fox, I said, hey, this is only in like the bottom 50%. But today with Firefly, I'm going to show you the actual bottom rung of gaming on the Atari 2600. E.T. is nothing to this. And I don't, you know, I shouldn't even bring up E.T. because it doesn't even belong to be placed with a game like Firefly. We're talking the bottom 2% here. And I almost never say that. In fact, I don't think I've ever said a game was intrinsically bad. But this is just a bad game. All right, let's start with the uh, let's start with the description. Starts off good enough. Test pilot log, March seventeenth, twenty ninety three. Yeah, it's my birthday, by the way. I'm probably be dead by twenty ninety three. On what started to be a routine high-speed test of an interplanetary craft Delta-12, a power plant malfunction caused the craft to skip off the rim of a small black hole. After experiencing level 5 turbulence, I became unconscious. Because it, it, it has two S's, I am unconscious. Upon awakening, I found myself at a time and place unknown to me, the craft having been completely destroyed. The place I am in is inhabited by a giant bug-like creatures. Through thought waves, the inhabitants explain that they are part of a culture, organically insect-like, but almost entirely mechanical. As their biological body parts begin to age beyond effective use, they are, they are replaced with mechanical parts. Though their will to survive, or through, sorry, their will to survive, they eventually created... <laughs> actually, it, if, if I read it the way it's written, they eventually created an entire society composed of machines. During this gradual conversion from living matter to machinery, a group of the inhabitants started programming themselves to survive even at the expense of others in their society. They became known as bad bugs. After the complete metamorphosis to computer-controlled minds, these bugs began attacking the good creatures. Because of my human reasoning and ability as an experienced test pilot, the good bugs have asked me for their help. Actually, asked me for my help. I'm not reading well today, but then again, I don't know if this deserves a really good reading. My task of saving the good bugs should prove extremely difficult, since the bad bugs have creature machines programmed solely for the purpose of stopping me. So, so they evolved it with the purpose of stopping somebody who randomly showed up. Okay. I will, however, be awarded valuable treasures by the good bugs for every enemy I eliminate. These treasures are very much like the treasures from the last Mythicon game I played. Oh, wait. <coughs> that wasn't in there. Sorry. But they are very much like those. Um, to further complicate my task, the good bugs have asked me to rescue the last remaining living creature on their planet, the Pixie. They have warned me to be very cautious when approaching the Pixie, since it is constantly guarded by a killer machine bee. Which basically means you die every time you touch it, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Alright, so here we go. Bad bugs. Following, um, the bad bugs... <laughs> Uh, Firefly. Following the Mythicon uh, pattern of gaming, of course the smiley face means I'm on in unlimited play mode, so I don't want to do that. Ooh. I want to have three lives, so let's uh, start it out by pressing the fire button. Uh, got lucky there. No, I can only fire one shot at a time. And some of the patterns are actually halfway hard to kill. So, it means... Oh, I'm doing really good this time. It, mm, look at this. It means that... Oh, I had a second there to get him. It means that... Ah, died. <laughs> it means that uh, if I miss, I'm going to be waiting a long time before firing again. Whatever. Come on, little bugger. God! 
Come on! And now you know why most reviewers just fly the hell past this guy. Yeah, baby! Got it! Finally! Next screen. But you can see why most reviewers just fly by the pixie. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Can I say it one more time? Also, really, there's no big reward to rescuing the pixie. <laughs> Alright, so, let's just make like everybody else and fly right by it. <laughs> that is the best strategy for dealing with the pixie. Ah, oh, not good. Got a box, attacking flaming cheeseburgers, attacking some snakes, and trying to get dumb pixie. Alright, we'll try this one more time. If I die this time, I'm done. Seriously. There's no good reason to keep going with this. By the way, have you noticed that the um, in every one of the Mythicon games, like your character looks like a middle finger, like when it shows you how many are left? Damn. Come on. That's it. The end. And that is Firefly. Um, yeah, basically fly around, try and get the nearly impossible to save Pixie, uh, and shoot stuff. I mean, that's that's it. And this is why it's really considered one of the uh, one of the worst Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. And I have to concur, it's not a great game, and it's very frustrating. All right, thank you very much for watching. Sorry, Atari. Of course. Uh, I'll see you generally in a couple of days. Uh, if you're looking for another Sorry Atari, there is one a week. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos